All right. What about the prices? Go. On January twentieth, we were paying a dollar ninety up here. We're now two fifty five is about the lowest you can find it in Shreveport Bossier. What's impacting that, and is that going to continue to go up as we get closer to summer months and traveling? You know, November the second. If you look back at the uh, the chart, you can find oil at thirty seven dollars. It's now sixty seven dollars. So uh, since the election, we've had a thirty dollar increase in the price of oil. We had a previous administration that uh, was all about energy independence. It was all about cheap fuel for our nation. And we've got a a new administration that is all about uh, the loathe, actually, of our our business, uh, pushing us out and trying to um, push this green, you know, green New Deal, green energy. So you've got speculators out there saying, hey, uh, this is going to be you know, terrible for the production of oil and gas. And if the production of oil and gas goes down at the same time as pandemic ends, summer driving happens, and all this goes on, there's a supply and demand difference. And when that happens, the price of gas is going to go up. I'm old enough to remember the two OPEC boycotts where they cut off cut off the pipelines for us in the early 70s, uh, well, a couple of times in during the Carter administration. Is there any sense in your mind at all why the newly elected federal officials would want to depend on our enemies for our energy supply? It is beyond me. Uh, I have no clue why they act the way they do. (laughs) I, I, I don't understand. I mean, you know, we are providing the nation with the cheapest liquid on earth. And I understand you know, you might be paying a you know two dollars and fifty nine cents. Uh, again, a lot of that is is a fuel tax. Okay, um, if you walk into a gas station today and you go grab, go walk through the store and go grab a gallon of water, it's over two dollars. Gasoline is the cheapest liquid on earth, and it's plentiful for our for our um, consumers. If you, if you look at any liquid. And, and compare it, whether it's Windex, milk. Don't don't compare it to Visine because it'll cost you forty thousand dollars to fill your tank. <laughs> I mean, it is gasoline is the cheapest liquid on earth. Would you be surprised if we're paying four dollars a gallon for gas this summer? I, I guess I wouldn't be surprised. I mean, it, it, it is it is a commodity. At the end of the day, you know, look look it up. Like I said yesterday, it was like I think it was two dollars and eight cents. If the price of that commodity goes to three dollars and then you start adding the taxes in it certainly could i've never seen that before you know that would be as high as i've ever seen it here